Speaker, my colleague just read off a long list of NDP proposals that are there to help Canadians. Dental care, uh, doubling the GST tax credit, the rent benefit. We're glad to see that. She also read off, uh, they've also, many Liberals have read off lists of jurisdictions and countries that have a price on carbon. We're glad to hear that as well. But Madam Speaker, I've got a list for countries that have an excess profit tax. Belgium, Czech, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, UK, Italy, Netherlands, Poland, Romania. I can go on that have had the courage to go after CEOs. Madam Speaker, the, 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 the member said they can't help Canadians like they did in COVID, but they're helping CEOs like they did in COVID. They're helping shareholders like they did in COVID, Madam Speaker. So my question through you is, when is Canada going to make the list for countries that are taking on greedflation and excess profit from oil and gas companies? Honourable Member for Davenport. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker, and I want to thank the Honourable Member for his excellent question. I'll say two things. One, the supply and confidence agreement between the Liberals and the NDP was about us coming together and working on the things that we both believe in. The environment, uh, housing, Indigenous and reconciliation, uh, dental care, pharmacare, and it is it, it, to me, it's, these are important priorities for, for Canadians, and I'm really glad that we're working very hard together on achieving these objectives. Uh, in terms of actually going after uh, our the oil and gas companies and the profit making, what I would say to you is that we have already uh, raised corporate income tax rates. So we have increased it by 1.5% on Canada's largest, most profitable banks and insurance companies. 